Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie. Today I am doing a book haul for Jane Austen July. Um, I've been collecting some books in the last months, uh, having lots of fun uh, looking which books I would love to read in the for Jane Austen July in the next months. And I would love to hear which of these books uh, you maybe you would like to read or you also own. So let's start. So. The first book that I got is The Genius of Jane Austen. I listened to the audiobook in June. It is by Paula Byrne, um, a very well-known author. She wrote The Real uh, Life of Jane Austen. And this book caught my attention because it was about the theater aspect of her books, how she was influenced by the theater and that she loved the theater very much. She started um, doing private theatricals and so that's how she got into theater and plays and the author says that the, the Jane Austen books were strongly influenced by uh, the theater and that's why they are so um, compelling and also uh, comical and with lots of irony and um, that's also why they are uh, so successful uh, in Hollywood. The next book that I got is this annotated version of Pride and Prejudice. I've been looking forward to read this book because I am very interested uh, to hear more about all the details that uh, are commented in this annotated edition. It has lots of interesting looking illustrations and I think it would be a delight to read the book again and to enjoy the footnotes, the illustrations, the explanations. And I love this cover. And now I, I know that this is a uh, funny, Jane Austen's favorite uh, niece. I have also gotten the annotated version of Persuasion. This month I will be uh, listening to the audiobook, but I think maybe I can also use the footnotes from this edition and the illustrations. It has also lots of nice and interesting illustrations. Yeah. Then something that I I think I will enjoy this month is this notebook. It is from the Chiltern editions. I love uh, them, they are really beautiful. I got this book last year. It is Mansfield Park and each book has also a notebook available. Uh, this notebook belongs to the Northern Abbey uh, book. I am planning to collect all the books, but also some of the notebooks because they are really beautiful and they really inspire me uh, when I want, I want to write something, write some quotes. It's very beautiful. And I love the paper because it's of, of, uh, of, re of really good quality. And I also like the, the color of the paper. I, I think I prefer this uh, color and not um, really white. Then something very exciting is this book because um, first of all, it's I, I love the covers uh, of these Stephanie Barron's um, Jane Austen mystery series. There are like, I think like, uh, I don't know, 15 books or something like that. And this is the pen penultimate book in the series. I read this book during the 12 days of Christmas and I really enjoyed it during, uh, during the 12 days of Christmas. It was very atmospheric and perfect for the season. I couldn't resist to get also this one. This uh, also very beautiful. I've also read the first one of this series, which I enjoyed very much. And the style is a little bit different, I think, but I like that it, it is uh, written in a Jane Austen way of writing. It is a very slow pace, but very good written mystery, I think. So if you are looking for something different for Jane Austen July, for the prompt to read a book that takes place during the Regency time, this could be an option. Then something different. This was also a cover by 
but the, the also the story sounds very interesting. It's about these two girls, uh, Jane Austen nieces, that uh, have to decide what they will do in, for their future, uh, who they are gonna um, marry, and how, and they have to think about the consequences of this decision. And uh, Jane Austen is also present in this book, and she tries to give them uh, advice. And it is by Lucy Worsley, uh, who is a very famous historian who has made documentaries about Jane Austen and also has written a biography, uh, a very successful biography uh, about Jane Austen. So I'm really looking forward to read this book and I love the, the cover, it's really beautiful. Then something fun. Um, I love this cover. It is by John Sutherland. I think he is also a very well-known writer. Uh, and Der de, Dertre Le Fay, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, she is also a Jane Austen scholar and she has published uh, the whole, all the complete letters uh, of Jane Austen. Um, the book, this book I, I own, but I, I just read some, some letters, but um, yeah, I, I was uh, drawn by the cover and by the idea of uh, answering questions about Jane Austen's books. The, it has diff uh, many questions uh, for a each book and also all the answers. So I'm really looking forward to read this in between and have fun. Last year I talked about these books. This is this is the Awesomely Jane Austen series, and I this in these last months I finally finished Pride and Prejudice and also Northanger Abbey, and I can recommend these books because they are very fun and. I think it is really interesting how the stories have been condensed in a way that they really keep the all the important things that happen in the book. They are really fresh and funny illustrated retellings of the Jane Austen books, very access accessible for uh, children and but also I think for adults because if you have read the book then it is really fun just to read a short version and enjoy the, the fine illustrations if you don't have a lot of time but are uh, wanting to read something that you already are familiar with and retold in a different way. It is really fun and the illustrations are really cute and, <laughs> and delightful. So I had these books and now I decided to get the other books in the collection. So we have Persuasion, Mansfield Park, it's really cute, and Emma. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. I am. I would love to to hear uh, if you have read any of these books, or uh, which book you think you would like to read. I wish you lots of fun during Jane Austen July. Thanks so much for watching, and I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video. Bye.